Hey everybody, if you're following my channel, you're probably sick and tired of hearing about stilt grass, but I'm doing another video, whether you like it or not. There's the introduction to this segment is up above, it's about pigs. We're using pigs to eat the stilt grass, and then we're replacing it with something else. Behind me was a field of uh, nasty stilt grass, uh, mile a minute weed, multiflora rose, etc. There's honeysuckle here. Really bad stilt grass. And as you can see, it's nice and green and lush. That's all cereal grains that the landowner has planted after the pigs demolished the stilt grass. So I'll take you on a little walk here. We're going to walk around uh, and I'll show you what we started with was this type of thing over here. As you can see, there's some really nasty stilt grass over here. This is what we started with, okay? It has taken over the whole place. And what he does is put pigs in here and every two weeks he moves them. So it takes him about two weeks to turn the land into this. So he's got a clean pallet to start with. You can throw seeds on there. Here's just a little bit starting to germinate right now. There's some uh, cereal grains in there. The grains are uh, winter wheat, barley, and oats. It doesn't really matter what you put in as long as it's a fast growing, cool season plant. So, we just moved from here. You can see the seeds on the ground. Uh, John moved his pigs over one step. And then he'll just keep moving them down every two weeks. And then replanting. Now he wasn't replanting before and, the, and everything just came back, of course. Still grass again because uh, if you don't replace it, you know, the, the seeds are in the ground. Now it's very important once the pigs have eaten up all the ground and churned everything up, uprooted all the plants, to replace it with something that's good for your property. Uh, in this case, stilt grass is a warm season plant. It's annual, so it's producing a lot of seed. So the seed is in the ground. And it'll come right back in the spring unless there's something more aggressive growing there already to shade it out. And that's why cereal grains, cool season grasses like wheat, barley, oats, they'll come in thick and shade out hopefully all the stilt grass. So once you have it under control for about three years, then you could come in with maybe some warm season grasses, get them established, and once you have warm season grasses, nothing else will will grow there. It'll take over the site and it'll be something native and good for the ecosystem. Uh, so that's about it for the not much else to say about the pigs they they pretty much they've only been in here for a few days and they got things pretty well tore up you keep them on some short rations and they will constantly be rooting around they've got things uh, they won't do it when I walk up to them but as you can see in the distance there you see the bushes moving they're digging those roots up and eating the roots so that'll kill the plant hopefully That'll take care of the multiflora rose and the honeysuckle. And they pretty much demolish the grass. Especially if it's green, they'll just eat it right up. So you can use uh, outfits that bring goats to your property. There's an outfit called Eco Goats that I've seen before. And I know they, they have a lot of contract grazing out west. It's something to try on your property if you don't want to spray. And even if you do want to spray, you could you could wipe out the stilt grass to start with, get ahead of it, and then use a little bit of spraying going down the road for about three years until the seeds stop germinating. Because if they go to seed, you have to start the clock all over again. That's the important thing to keep in mind that a lot of people don't realize, and I've learned this the hard way, is that if you spray it, 
and it already has made seed, even if it was last year, you're just going to get stoke grass back again unless you replace it with something else. All right, so check out the first video, and uh, if you need something sprayed, give me a call. And if you're in Pennsylvania, I'll get you on the schedule to take a look at your stilt grass problems and get them handled for you. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below, let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.